So I'm here with the Fnatic Shaper, Sebastian Wenzel. We've also got our World Cup Wave Riders, Klaas and Victor. What we're going to do is have a little bit more of an in-depth look at the free wave range. Sebastian, tell me a little bit about his history. and The free wave's been a legend since its introduction into our Fnatic range years ago. Um, over the years we have changed the shape obviously a couple of times. It was a tough challenge to actually come up with something better as the previous shape won various tests. But I have to say I'm very happy with the result. The board's a bit more compact, a bit wider. We have a bit of a flatter deck around the section which makes it very easy to and comfortable to stand on when you're not planing. School broker line that's a bit flatter than on the tree wave. Looking at all these three wave boards is kind of interesting. On the quad we have the most amount of curve being a little bit flat on the tri-wave and then having the flattest line on the free wave. You just a little bit of tail release here and that with the V and the slight double concave, not really exaggerated, running all the way from the nose towards the tail. Obviously around that section you have a little bit more V to get nice and turny uh, maneuverability out of the shape. Class, I've seen you a lot, especially last year, doing a lot of work uh, with the R&D of the fins out on the freeway. I took tons of fins around the world with Victor uh, throughout the last year. And uh, we picked this fin, set fin setup in the end because it's very early planing and really fast. Still offers a very good uh, turning performance. Um, this is the basic setup that is covering basically what the free wave is meant to be. Uh, free wave conditions, bump and jump and uh, little wave riding conditions. Um, so a bit of everything really. A bit of everything. Yeah. We deliver the board with a power box and a slot box covers so you have the option for flat water to put a single fin and get a bit more planing performance out of the board still. Victor, I've even seen you using this board at some of the PWA events. Can you tell me a little bit about why that is? Yeah, you're right. I've been using this board, especially Denmark and Silt. But I always stay with me the 86 and 96 freeway. Uh, I use more the tech stream because it's a bit lighter. Okay. And um, the performance a little bit better on light winds, I'm sure. Yeah. How's it wave riding? Is you still riding radically on this? Uh, of course, I yeah. can ride quite good. I had great results in Denmark and Seal in the last few years. Yeah. And yeah, my big size is 5'8, 5'3. I use this board because I'm a heavier guy, you know, compared to glass, and uh, I'm 83 kilo. And I get going on, on the white water pretty easy. I yeah. can do big jumps in onshore, like really onshore conditions. Yeah. I pass the waves really easy. I recommend this board to any kind of sailor, you know? Yeah. Especially to have it as a big board. It sounds great. It sounds like the board does a lot. And can we expect you to have it in your quiver again this year? You'll be taking it to yeah, those onshore Yeah, of course, I events. will take it. Yeah. 86, 96 will be on my, on my board bike okay. for the next three. Awesome. Uh, we have three constructions for the free wave and this is the custom wood sandwich uh, edition and um, different in technology than the other two boards. Additional foot traps. This would be the first free wave you buy probably. So we're offering a more inside position and a more outside position. And um, also the custom wood sandwich only comes with the single fin. Okay. We don't offer the thrusters in this construction as this is more towards the uh, first timer in the wave segment. Nice single fin, 25 cm on this 86 here. Nice foot pads with heel bumpers, very comfy. This here we have the Team Edition, which is the Inegra Carbon. You can see this here nicely. It's a clear laminate with the tinted resin, actually beautiful. Wow, Sebastian, this one looks amazing. What construction is this? Yeah, this is our Tech Dream Edition. This is actually, I would say, the most beautiful board we have in the overall range. It's a fiber that they use uh, also in Formula One. It's a very thin woven carbon fiber, very high filament content. It's amazing. You can go really go super light and be very strong. Um, so the most exclusive look on this board. The Techstream also comes with the thruster fin setup, same as our team edition. And uh, on the deck, you also see the carbon inegra lamination. Wow. Uh, thanks guys for all that input. This really sounds like a great board that you can just kind of jump on and fly straight away. Awesome.